are you doing on this wonderful day? So, do you want to know how I get this look? Well, then you should stick around for this video. And I'm already going to go ahead and apologize for the lighting. I don't have a good camera anymore. I'm using my cell phone. I'm in my bathroom. My lights are crazy up in here, just like me. But I hope you guys like to stick around and watch my natural makeup video. This is... Now in this video, this is not like something I would do if on a school day, if I just woke up and I'm like, oh, I have to go to school today. I am not going to do all of these steps just because who am I trying to impress at school? I don't like anyone there. I'm kidding. There are some people at school that I like, so it's okay. But seriously, I'm really not trying to impress everyone. They see me every day. They know what I look like in my best and they know what I look like in my worst, so I don't care anymore. But this is a look that I do try to wear whenever I'm going out with friends or if I'm just going to the store and I know that I'm going to be out for a really long time. If I'm just going over to play video games at my boyfriend's house or something. Just, you know, just a normal casual day. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Hello. Okay, so I first start out with foundation. And for foundation, I use True Blend by CoverGirl. And I use the number two. I used to be number one because I was really pale, but I'm a number two now because I'm getting tanner. I really like this product because it is not shiny, it does not look gunky, and it definitely lasts me all day. So I just... Pump a little, and I really like the pump thing. I like it over powder. I don't know why. And to blend in this foundation, I use just a normal e.l.f. brush. It doesn't really have a name. It's ju it just says e.l.f. Take a moment right here. Feeling like a sound gear. Driving towards the sun. With a rose and a gun. Feel the wind in my head. Now once I put the foundation on my face with the e.l.f. brush, I usually just wipe my hands over my face like this because at first it does look shiny but for some reason after I just roll my hands over it, it looks less shiny. Throughout this video, you guys are going to notice that I love e.l.f. products. Anyways, the next product that I like to use is e.l.f.'s Under Eye Concealer and Highlighter. And I really like this because it has, it's a two for two. I take the concealer and I just put it directly under my eye. Then I take the highlighter side. I have... I have bags. You might not be able to see it in the video, but I do have bags, guys. And you're all gonna get bags one day, unless you're lucky. And <laughs> I put the highlighter on the rim of my bags. That's where I put it. I sound like I'm talking about purses or something. And to blend that in, I use the e.l.f. contour brush. Now, I know that I should be using this brush for my contour needs, but I feel like it works better with my concealer needs. So that's what we're going to use it for in today's video. And also, disclaimer, I don't exactly use all of these products the correct way. I use them to what works best for me. I might be doing something wrong. If I am, feel free to tell me, but I just use these products to how they work with me, I guess you would say. Running, running, no. Up next, I like to use Maybelline's concealer. I really like this product because it took me forever to find a good concealer for me and one that would actually conceal my blemishes. And I just feel like it does its job. Now, if I have, like, say, a huge zit or something on my face. You can still tell it's there. But for like small blemishes, like a scar or something on your face, it does really well, I think. But I'm not as bad with my zits anymore as I used to be, so I feel like this product really works for me. Now, I 
I do not know if you have noticed, but most of the products I use are typically from Walmart just because it's cheap, it works, and it, this is what I do. But my mom took me to a beauty convention a while back ago and I got products from the beauty convention and I'm sorry that they don't sell these products at Walmart. I will put a link in the description down below of where you can get these products from. But I'm really sorry because I, I I've i been trying to use products that I get from like Walmart or something like that. But I think you guys will live. Anyways, this is called Be Beautiful. And I use this for my eyebrows. This is the dark color. And I really like this because I've been using eyebrow pencil that you brush it in. But I really like this product because it has a rake-like thing on the end. I just think it gives your eyebrows more detail than the brush end. So I really like it. Now I don't know if you guys also noticed, but I also look like the cashmere outside girl because I was too lazy to pluck my eyebrows, so I was like, I'm going to shave my eyebrows just a little bit around it to make it look good. I accidentally shaved off half of my eyebrow over here, but it is what makeup is for, and I am going to fix my problems. Master Contour. You guys can tell that I really like this product because you can tell that I am down to the rim. I love this product. I use it whenever I run out. I am going to be trying to look for another contour just because I want to experience more. And I really do like this because it also has a highlighter on it. If you are just starting to learn how to contour, I believe that this product is really good. I have been getting it and I feel like I'm starting to get better at doing contour. So it's definitely a good starter product. But after I finish this up, then I probably am going to be looking for another contour. And as you can tell, I usually taper down so it goes from thick to thin. And whenever I do my nose, I basically make myself look like a pig by doing contour down here, here, highlight. Anyways, to blend this all in, I like to use the e.l.f. steeple brush. And I gotta make a fish face again. To my boss that I'm done, had no luck with my mom. Say, what will you do with your life? You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Up next is another Be Beautiful product and I have never used bronzer before but I decided to get bronzer at this convention I know I am in love with it but I love it so you can tell I use it I use it so much so whenever I run out I'm not gonna get it or I'm not probably not gonna buy it online again I'm probably gonna go to Walmart and find my own bronzer to get but I love bronzer. I always saw that bronzer was so expensive in stores. But with how long this lasts, it's definitely worth it. But I, I am in love with this bronzer. I'm going to be so upset when I run out. It is so cute. It even comes with a mirror. It's definitely, it's definitely useful. And to blend this on my face, I like to use the e.l.f. complexion brush. It's a pretty big brush. Definitely does its job. I just put it on my face. Maybe guilty but proud. Now I'm an outlaw on the run. Dangerous, but it's so fun. No. Hold on. Now I got this trick from Zoella. But just put it on your neck because it makes it blend in with the rest of you better. Like instead of just going from a darker color to light, it just makes it blend in better. 
Okay, now guys, put this bronzer and just lay it to the side because I have a trick that I will show you guys in just a few minutes, but I will show you after I use my blush. This is the last Be Beautiful product that I'm going to be using in this video, except for whenever I go back to the bronzer, of course. I really like it. I'll show you. And it's really cute because it has a little cross stitch thing on the inside. And it's really cute. I do like this. The color is Rose Bloom. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because it, de it definitely works. Although I am kind of disappointed. It's not as good as most blushes because you have to... For it to show up, you have to keep on going back to it and redoing it. See, I'm having to do it a lot. There we go. Okay, so now going back to the bronzer, I will show you a trick real quick, and I really, really like it. And just take a normal e.l.f. brush. It doesn't say what kind of brush it's called on here. It's just an e.l.f. brush. And just take the two darkest colors in your bronzer, and I always hear people say make a V, but you want to do that V right here and then just fill it all in. This is a good natural look. And what I do next is I take the same brush and I kind of wipe off the residue a little bit so unless you want to look like a clown. And then I go to the lightest color and I put it above what I just did but under my eyebrow. But go all the way to the rim of your eyebrow. Like do you see what I'm doing here? Like making a V this way. Like just connecting it to it basically. But I understand that I feel like you guys would too. Not the brightest. People say I am but I don't think so. I feel like it makes a good natural look. I really like it. I think it's a really cool trick. The lady at the convention taught me and I just, I've been, I've been doing it. The next product I like to use is Maybelline's Master Graphic. I love, 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 love using this whenever I make wings. It's a really good product. I've had it for forever. It has lasted me for forever. So, I really love this. I really love this product. Now, when you do a wing, it is going to determine how your day is going to go. If you get the wing good or perfect, your day is going to go very well for you. But if you mess up, your day is going to go terrible. That's how I feel. It's how it works for me. Because I don't know. My day is determined by how well I do my wing. But it's a really good product because it's basically already the wing and you just like go across. L's Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt. I love this product because I have seen so many girls on Instagram with awesome eyelashes. I'm like, how do I do that? Make it like taper from low to like thicker, I guess. And I think this does the job. I really, I really love this product. It definitely does its job. Whenever I do my eyelashes, I usually go down and then up. It makes your eyelashes more thicker for some reason, I think. Take a moment right here Feeling like a sound gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear Lying out on the run Dangerous but it's so 
And what I also like about this, it doesn't feel heavy on your eyes, it feels fine. You don't even notice it. It's not sticky. It's not gunky, and I did, I love the I love that product. Last but not least, since this is a natural look, I don't go all out on lipstick, but I do like to use Revlon's Color Stay lipstick, and I don't know what color it is. Um, it just says 070 at the bottom. I don't know if that helps. I hope it does. I just use it. That's a little bit of color to your lips, I think. And that is my natural look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. My hair just flipped. And also subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. I'm kind of I'm interested in doing some more makeup videos. And also comment down below some maybe some different makeup tutorial video ideas. Or suggest me some makeup products. Or just I don't know, just suggest me some things with makeup. Just do it, just do it. Anyways, I hope that you guys all have a lovely day and goodbye.